So in the previous, um, previous lesson, we looked at how we can reference one channel from another operator. And in that case, we needed specific chop syntax where we knew how to write the name of the operator and write the name of the channel. So um, in this case, we're going to be interested in something else. And that is how to reference one parameter to another. And I'm going to show you this as if I wanted to have I'm just going to copy and paste. I have two LFOs here. And um, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to ha want to have the frequency of this LFO 1 um, be the master frequency, and the frequency of LFO 2 will be the slave. So they'll basically be reading from each other. And um, the way to do that is you could obviously just sort of hover over this and using the Alt key, and you could just go here and you could export it. And, uh, you know, following up on what we saw last week, when you drop, you let go of your mouse, um, you can export, but you could also um, give it a relative chop reference. And basically what that is going to do is um, give you the value of that channel. So what we want to do in this case is we just want to use a parameter. And the parameter we want to use is the frequency of LFO1. So just like we did um, last week, if I type in here how I connect to another operator, is I always we want to use op as the uh, call for another operator. I'm just telling touch, hey, I'm looking for this operator, and I want to find its name and the name is LFO1. I want to put quotes around the name and close the parenthesis. Now this in itself doesn't give me anything. I need to reference what I'm interested in. So in this case I'm looking for a parameter. So I'm going to type dot par for parameter and I'm going to type another dot. And then what I need to put in to finalize this expression is the name of the parameter. And if I'm interested in frequency I wouldn't want to type what you call the label, which is what is visible to you here directly, but the name. And the name is what's showing up in this little context pop-up here. Um, it happens to be the same name, but just with a lowercase f. And it also appears here when I untwirl this. And it's the same thing for all of these. You can see offset happens to be offset. However, amplitude happens to be amp. So if I were interested in amplitude and I typed just amplitude, it wouldn't work. I would need to type amp. So in this case, I'm just going to type frequency. I'm going to copy this. And I'm just typing it in here so you can see it easier. It, it uh, definitely it does not need to be typed in there. And now you can see I've got a line here, what's called a dependency line uh, or dependency connector that is just showing me that these two are connected. And if I were to go here and change the frequency on one, it will change on the other. So this is a pretty handy thing to have, um, and I uh, hope this is helpful.